do we work because we're saved? Are we saved because we work? Or is it that we are saved and so we must work to stay saved? When we read Philippians 2.12, there are those that take this phrase, work out your own salvation or work out your salvation, to mean that we ought to work out our salvation as though we are to work to keep it, to maintain it. Some might even say to get it. That could not be the case. I'm going to show you that in a little bit, but the focus should not necessarily be on what the word means. The word for work out in this case does mean, according to the BDAG, uh, to cause a, a state of or a condition to bring about, to produce, to create. But the point that he's making is not that we are going to produce our salvation. We are going to do something else. The issue is not so much what the word means, but where the word is located in the text. The word is for work. Uh, let's put it on the screen as a matter of fact. Let's go ahead and look at this. The word that's used here for for work is the word katargaxekte, which is, and I said that, I pushed that, I'm sorry. Um, but the word means to work. But what you ought to notice is that this word is in the imperative. What does that mean? Well, because it's in the imperative, it is a command for us to do. It is a command to work. But in this case, because of where it's located in the sentence, it is a command to work in view of your salvation. It is a command to work because of your salvation. Now, it's better for us English speaking, us westernized people. It's better of us English speaking and thinking people to read it in order, in the order that the Greek lays it out, which is with fear and trembling of or from your salvation than work. This word, this katergethos day, the word for work is what Paul is telling them to do. And the why is everything prior. So you think back when in high school or junior high, what have you, you would have these participles, these participle phrases. You would take those and you would insert those at the, you, you would separate the sentence from the beginning to the end. The goal of what you're trying to do would likely be at the end, but you've got this participle phrase to kind of tell you why or in what manner or for what reason. Well, we have the same thing here. So let's go back to this passage. He says, so then my beloved, he says, so uh, just as you have always obeyed in my presence only, but not much more in my absence. This is what he says in view of, and so let's go to the, to the Greek here. He says in view of with fear, and we know this is with fear because this is the meta uh, followed by the genitive. So with fear, meta fubu, monofabu, I'm sorry, uh, kai tramu, which fear and trembling of yourselves, of your own salvation work. So that's how we ought to read. So in, it is correct to state that the meaning that results from salvation is the working out. So what results from salvation? Working. Not that salvation results from working. Sometimes we might flip-flop those, we might reverse those. So what we are trying to say is that it is work that emanates fr from our salvation. Our working is not what produces salvation. It is the other way around. Our salvation produces working, which is why it's followed by what it says in verse 13. For it is God who is at work in you. God is the one working in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. So the so what's ultimately working in us is the Lord doing so. So think about that for a second. Uh, God is the one that's working in us. Um, and so God is who is at work in you. And it's simply describing why God is working in us. So it cannot be that God is working in us prior to being saved and then causing us to be saved. Uh, this is literally the opposite of what the text is saying to say that we are working to be saved or maintain our salvation. No, the opposite of what the text says is that in view or because of our salvation, we are working. Now, a couple other things. If we jump back to the top, he says, so then my beloved, just as you have always obeyed. Well, it could not be. It could not be that we are uh, working to be saved because he is treating us as though we are saved. He calls us our beloved. So then, my beloved, so then, my brethren, so then, my saved brothers and sisters in Christ. So then, because of that, and if we can, and to see if the sentence makes sense, eliminate that entire participle phrase. So then, work. It says the exact same thing. We just have, my beloved, just as you have, all the way down to with fear and trembling. 
that part is just added to give added reasons, rationale as to why we work. So I hope this helps. I know it may have been a bit nerdy, but again, that's what we want to do. We want to go through the scriptures and make sure the text backs up what we're saying or more to the point, we are backing up what the text says, saying what the text say. Could be possibly confusing. Uh, I think the English is probably clear, though, because imagine us actually working to keep our salvation. Then that didn't violate what Paul says. Now we do have something for us to boast, and that's not what God wants. And so we work in view of our salvation. We love the Lord so much. What do we do? We work. We do things. You love your wife so much. You love your husband so much. You love your children so much. And so you do things for them, for the people that you love, for the things that you love. Because of it, you do things. You work. Not that you're working uh, is um, to keep your faith or to keep your salvation. But in view of it, you are so overcome with joy. You love it so much. You're going to do something about it. That's why James says, show me your faith. I'll show you my faith by my works. Not that works does anything. It's just that my faith um, is so great. I'm going to show you by the things that I do for the kingdom and for other people. Amen. Amen.